Hey guys, in today's uh, video lesson, we are going to outline how to set up Google Webmaster Tools for your website. So the first step is to either uh, type Webmaster Tools into Google and you should uh, find that it comes up as the first listing. Or you can go directly to the uh, URL at google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash tools. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this link. And it's going to take me to the uh, main Webmaster Tools login page here. And we'll assume that you already have uh, a, a Google email and a Google account at this point, uh, which I do as well. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go and log in. And I haven't actually uh, set up the website on this account yet, so what I'll do is go through the entire process so you can see exactly how it's done. So the first set is simply to uh, click on this uh, tab down here, uh, add a site, and you're going to enter the URL of the site that you want to uh, add here. So in order to verify site ownership, you'll have to do one of the following. Um, you can add a DNS record to your uh, domain's config, uh, add a meta tag to your site's homepage, you can upload an HTML file to your server, or you can link to your analytics account. So if you already have an analytics account like I do, that, that would be the easiest way to do it. Um, if not, usually I'll just upload a uh, file to the server. Once you've selected what uh, you're going to do to verify it, you can click on verify. Now you can skip this step, but if you skip it, obviously you're not going, going to have access to uh, any of the features of Webmaster Tools. So you'll want to do this right away. Now, since this is a brand new account, there's really no data in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is log into another one of my accounts that has traffic, and I'm going to go over some of the features here with you so you can see um, you can see things and, and how they actually work. So what I've done is logged into one of the accounts on uh, another one of my sites that uh, is getting traffic. So I can show you what it looks like, uh, you know, with a live site. Now what I want to do is just show you a little bit uh, some of the options here in the left sidebar under dashboard. So let's take a look at a few of the most important uh, features that you should be getting uh, familiar with initially in Webmaster Tools. Now, we have four main tabs on the left side here. We have Site Configuration, Your Site on the Web, Diagnostics, and Labs. And I just want to go through each one of these and uh, show you some of the features that they have. Now, under Site Configuration, uh, there's a couple things you want to make note of. Uh, under Site Maps, what this allows us to do is add a site map. We can do this manually. Now we're providing with plugins that will do this automatically. Um, however, submitting a, an initial sitemap manually isn't a bad idea to uh, make sure that Google has, recognizes all of your uh, web pages um, and it's relatively easy to do. Um, under settings, what you want to do is just confirm that the, the geographic target is set to the United States and 90% of the time you'll be targeting the uh, U US. Uh, occasionally this will be, I've had, the, had cases before where this was set to uh, a different um, location so you want to make sure that this is uh, set to the United States. Under preferred domain you can leave it uh, set as don't set uh, which is the default. Um, you can also change it if you have a preference how you'd like it displayed. You just want to make sure that it corresponds with your settings in WordPress. WordPress. So if you've set it up in WordPress uh, with the domain showing www in front of the domain, then you'll want to select that here. And if not, you'd select the uh, non-www version. And we'll head back over here to the sidebar. And under your site on the web, this is probably the most important stuff here that you'll want to initially uh, take a look at. Um, we'll click first here on search queries. And this gives us a fair bit of valuable information. Um, 
what it's showing us here is is where our site is showing up for for which keywords and not necessarily even if we're getting clicks but this is showing us if we're getting any impressions for these particular keywords so you'll see here on the left there's a list of many different keywords and we're able to see how many clicks we're getting for them we're able to see the number of impressions which is how many times people actually see or it comes up on the page our listing comes up on the page um, we can see increases and decreases in impressions and clicks and we can also see the CTR, the click-through um, for all of our pages. Um, average position, this will show you uh, for, for certain pages, you'll see whether they're going up or down or staying in the same position. So looking at this, this can be really uh, very helpful, especially uh, taking a look at the impressions versus clicks because there are ways to uh, increase the, the click-through um, by changing title tags and uh, descriptions as well. So you'll want to take a look at this when your site starts to get traffic. Now we head back over here to the left sidebar and click on links to your site. Some more valuable information in here. Basically what this is showing us is where our, uh, or what backlinks Google recognizes. We're actually able to see what sites are linking back to us and more importantly what sites Google will is recognizing as backlinks. So the reason this is important is because if we want to rank well in Google we want links from sites they recognize. There's no point in wasting time um, getting links from sites that Google won't even recognize because that's not going to help your rankings. So by taking a look at the actual sites that Google is recognizing um, and giving us backlinks, uh, we're able to be more efficient with our time. So what I usually do in here is I'll take a look at, uh, in this section, who links most. I'll click on that to expand it. And then what it's going to do is going to show me a, uh, a list of all of the domains that are linking to your site. And then you can uh, get further detail by clicking on the actual domain and it'll show you where it's linking to on your, your page and uh, definitely a valuable tool here to take a look at. Heading back over here to the sidebar again under keywords, it'll just give us a quick snapshot of some of the keywords we're ranking for. If you click on the actual keyword, you will get more detail. Not as helpful as the search queries or links to your site, but definitely something to take a look at. Um, the next thing I want to do is uh, just take a look at diagnostics. And what diagnostics will do is, is help us recognize any problems with our site. Problems that we may not see, but Google uh, is coming across and it, can, it could hinder your ranking. So it's important to, uh, to find out if you have any issues. Um, in, in particular, if you have any, um, sometimes over time, if you're not keeping um, your site updated with the latest version of WordPress, you may run into problems where your site gets hacked and, and malware is, uh, is uploaded onto it. And fortunately, uh, Google will recognize this and, and they will warn you. Um, I've had it actually happen where they've, I've, I've been contacted via email and, and I was able to fix the problem uh, just in time. But um, this is where Google will show you if there are any uh, issues in terms of malware. Uh, crawl errors are important because there may be URLs or, or different pages on your site that Google isn't able to uh, to crawl or their 404 error pages and you'll be able to see them here so you, when you when you log into this or when you click on the crawl error section it'll show you a list of any of the uh, pages that are problematic and what you can do is fix them then under HTML suggestions, uh, this is actually fairly helpful too. Google will tell you if there are any duplicate titles, duplicate descriptions, text missing in, in meta descriptions, etc. Um, basically, under the diagnostics here, it, it'll show you. It'll actually give you an idea of, of ways you can uh, actually you can improve your site. So it is helpful. So that's just a quick rundown of some of the more important things in Webmaster Tools that you'll want to uh, check out and get familiar with. 
we'll do another video that outlines more detail, uh, a more detailed analysis of all the features of Webmaster Tools. But I think that'll give you a, a good start. Um, definitely good to uh, log in and check around and read up on each of the sections in more detail. Thanks for watching.